Welcome back to episode two of Wreck and Rule University, where today, Joe, explain um, what we're doing today. We will be playing a simple basic game. Trying Which to... you got people set up for last time. You explained the basics of the different cards available and all that type of stuff. Yes. Now, if you if missed you... it, check episode one. Now you should be aware of what characters are, what battle cards are, basic attack, basic defense. Now we're going to show you a game. One round. So at the start of the game, each player draws three. Excuse me, let me back up. At the start of the game, you're supposed to present your deck to your opponent and shuffle and, you know, make sure they're not cheating. For the purposes of this video, I've stacked the decks. So this is all going to happen, except when we shuffle, then it's fair game. So, and you're supposed to choose the opponent, or choose whoever gets to go first randomly. For this exercise, I'm going first. And when you guys do choose it randomly, if you roll a die, or whatever it might be, do highest roll. The highest roll. Both people agree on. Right. You can't. If you if you win the roll, you can't decide to make the other person go. Whoever wins the roll has to go. That's also commonly uh, misunderstood. Both players draw three. Done. The first player gets to draw a card as the start of their turn. First player, first turn, cannot play a card. Nothing. They get to flip one of their characters if they choose so, like so. Flip from bot or alt mode to bot mode. Then that person can attack. Tap one of your untapped characters. Any one you want. doesn't have to be the one you just transformed. You get to choose a defender. When your opponent has all untapped characters, you can choose whoever you want. If they have a tapped character, you have no choice but to go for that character. I will send Scrapnel into B. When someone attacks, flip two cards off the top of the deck. Opponent flips two cards off the top of their deck. Attacker will add oranges with oranges. Defender blues with blues. I have five, six, seven attack. Two, three, four defense. You will take... You said seven? I said seven. I'll take three damage. After damage is placed, all cards that were flipped during the turn get scrapped. Turn ends. Uh, priority passes to the next player. First thing I do is I draw, First thing you do. draw a card. Second player, only thing they can do is play one card. It could be an action, or it could be an upgrade. But Can't I'm do. I'm going to make Brian break the game right now. So I'm going to play a card. The card's name is Brainstorm. Play it out there. Goes onto the field. Uh, it says you may play an action, then you may play another action. So action one is going to be Inspiring Leadership. I will draw three cards and then scrap two from my hand. So one, two, three. Now I have to scrap two from my hand. I will scrap Handheld Blaster. I will also scrap Handheld Blaster. Now if we look at the card, Brainstorm allows me to play two actions. Play an action, play another action. That was action one, which has now been resolved. Now I play action two. Action two is going to be a card called Leap of Faith. So down bottom there is a star on it. So Joe, do you want to explain stars? We went over that in the earlier video. Aha. Uh -huh. So from here, Leap of Faith, I scrap the top card of my deck. I may play that card. Don't have to. Reinforce plating, so it's an upgrade. So I will play this onto <laughs> B. B. Uh, from here. The second part, scrap another card from the top of your deck. You may play that card. Uh, Power Sword. Power Sword um, does have a play requirement. It must go onto a melee character. Bumblebee is melee. Nemesis is melee. We will put this onto Nemesis. Um, Brian, that was an amazing first turn for only being able allowed to play one card. I played, played five. Five cards. Look at that. <laughs> um, and then from here... I will choose a character. I may flip a character. So I'm going to... B. Flip B. <laughs> and he is going to attack... The So, people at home, and work, and submarines, the only valid target I currently have is going to be Scrapnel, who I must go into. So Bumblebee into Scrapnel. Tap my character, I flip two, one, two, and then here... What happens there, bro? So, 
The first time that you flip a white battle icon, you flip two more cards. One, two. So we want oranges on... May I defend first? Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> Yikes. <laughs> okay, so we began with four attack. Um, we flipped an orange pip. We have five. I will count up my defense, which is zero, and I will add all the blues, which is also zero. So, Brian, will I take five damage? Uh, typically, you would. However... Scrapnel says, this can't take more than three attack damage from a single attack. So, five becomes three. Scrap all battle cards flipped. Yep. Scrap all actions flipped. Yep. Turn ends. Opponent goes. Draw one. From this point on, you can play one action and one upgrade. Unless you can break the game like Brian just did. <sighs> I can look at my hand for a change. I will play an upgrade on kickback. It's a weapon. And the action I have determined to play is a card called Swarm. Which says, flip a battle card from the top of your deck for each Insecticon you began the game with. One, two, three, four. I will flip four, not scrap four. It says, for each orange you flip, your opponent chooses one of their characters and deals one damage to it. So he will have four instances of one to deal out how he sees fit. Mm -hmm. They don't all have to go on one character. We'll go two on to Flame War, and then we'll go two on to Nemesis Prime. These cards are not scrapped. I will just set them aside under Swarm. They will go at the end of the turn. Whew. I am going to flip Chop Chop. Chop Chop says, when this attacks, you may move an upgrade from one of your characters to this one. I will attack. I will trigger his ability. I will steal the flamethrower. I will go into Bumblebee. When you attack, there's a keyword called Bold. It is two additional cards. Well, Bold 2. Flip two cards when attacking. Hmm. You flip your initial two cards, and then do all of the Bold all at once. It's cumulative. So this is Bold 2, so I'm flipping four right off the bat. And you may defend. What okay. do you have anything else over there, Roy? <clears throat> uh, for defense. For B, I will in fact. So I have B has a built-in tough one. Mm -hmm. So tough is the defensive um, counterpart to. Is that all, Roy? Bold, but then he also has an upgrade which grants him tough too. So as Joe mentioned, those numbers are. And how many cumulative. are you flipping right off the bat? So I'm going to have <clears throat> two to begin with, normal, and then. I'm going to have tough three. I'll have three additional cards. So we have five one, no matter what. Two, three, four, and five. Ooh, but then what on that there? fifth one, we got the white pip. So from here, we flip two more. One, two. Now here, the white pip only triggers the first time you see it. So if you see another white pip, you do not get additional. So the white pip doesn't there. have to trigger in your initial two. It can flip anywhere. In that opening spread. Correct. So anything for that opening attack. Yes. So your attack. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have from here two, four, five, six, seven, eight. How much damage is that, Bri? Zero. They cancel each other out. I'll we'll get all the battle cards flipped and all the actions and all the swarm <clears> stuff. <throat> Scrap it all. Back to my opponent who gets the draw. From here, I will draw a card. Uh, <clears throat> so we have an action, we have an upgrade, we have a flip. So our action is going to be Vaporize. We'll knock off the Flamethrower. We're going to have our upgrade will be Sparring Gear mm -hmm. onto Nemesis Prime. Gives him tough too. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have Nemesis is going to flip mm -hmm. into Robot Mode. Uh, and then Nemesis is going to attack. And from here, because Joe has... Two characters that are tapped, I can choose if I go for Scrapnel over here or if I go for Chop Shop over here is my call. We are going to go for Chop Shop. So we tap Nemesis. Mm -hmm. uh, Nemesis is going to have two built in. He has a power sword to give him bowl three. We'll have three additional. So we flip and we have one, two... We have three, four, five. Now we did 
get a white pip, we do two more. Boom, boom. Another white pip, but it does not trigger again. Defender gets two. Defender is sad. <laughs> so I have seven. I have eight is what I have. I have one. A block one. Take seven. I think now is a good time. Do we want to talk about... Is pips? there a green pip there, Brian? There is. So, Joe, what happens with green pips? I think you can handle that one, Brian. I'll try. So, from here... Uh, if you flip out a green pip as the attacker or as the defender, you can scrap a card that is uh, in your uh, hand. Uh, swap. You, you may swap a card that is in your hand to retrieve the green pip card. So we will get rid of the bigger they are, and then we will pull in the card with the green pip, which is sparring gear. And then from here... Now that you know how green pip works, I want you to keep that card, Brian. You need that pierce. That's how it would work, but we're not going to. So from here, we get flipped cards, we get actions that were played, discarded. Back to me. Opponent draws one. Question. Yes, there a question, Frenchie. Why is it not on script? between swap and scrap? Why is it important? Thank you for that question. Yes, there is a character called Shockwave who, when you scrap cards in your hand, uh, gives you a little bit of a penalty. So swapping is a way to ignore that ish. And we thank Watsy for that, for dancing around that. He would be a very <clears> impressive <throat> character. For my turn, I will do my flip in any order. Flip, action, and upgrade. I will choose to flip kickback. I will give kickback an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to play an action, which is supercharge. Gives one of my characters bold three. I'm not going to choose to tap characters. I can't do anything with that. I'll do kickback. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose kickback to attack Nemesis. Okay. Right off the bat, kickback gets two. He says, flip two more battle cards for each other Insecticide you began the game with. Two, four, six. So I'm flipping eight right off the bat. I have Flamethrower, flipping ten off the bat. And I have Supercharger, flipping thirteen off the bat. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I luckily got a white in that spread, so I get two more. <laughs> Once the attacker is done flipping, defender gets to go. One, two, base. Mm -hmm. He also has sparring gear, gives him tough two. I get to flip two more. Hmm. I'll count my math up first. <clears throat> Kickback starts over zero, though. Remember that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 attack. Way to go, kickback. <laughs> so I have two, three, four. I have five defense, Joe. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll take, uh, is that 15 damage? <laughs> it will be, which will be enough to kill Nemesis. Sorry to hear that, Brian. So um, battle is resolved. These cards will go here. What happens when a character is KO'd, Brian? <clears throat> character is KO'd. You're going to put it into a, a KO zone, which is like off of the table. We're going to put it here Out of the now. play area, yeah. It is important that you put it in the KO zone in the mode that it was in. Um, there are some ways to bring characters back on the field. Um, and in some cases, flipping a character in your KO zone, which is a thing that you can do, can have an effect on the game. However, in general, any abilities that you would get that you flip while you're in the KO zone will not trigger. Unless otherwise stated by the card. Like an asterisk on everything we <laughs> Uh, the what upgrades happens to the upgrades that were on Nemesis are discarded mm -hmm. into the scrap. Anything else important to remember about the <clears throat> KO character? About the KO character? Yes. In... Oh, good. They enter the KO zone with all damage placed on them. Yes. So Nemesis will be at 16. There will be no spillover. And we scrap all the cards. Advanced rules. Uh, do you want to place 16 damage on Nemesis, please? Most opponents will not have you do this at a tournament, but it can make a difference. Maybe. It does make combiners easier to play, I think. All right, from here. Goes from back here, to we're me. going to uh, play normally, no more script. <laughs> I will draw. Um, but I did give you that one bigger they are. To thanks, Joe. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to flip the way more. Don't do it here. <laughs> uh, so we did our flip. We you still can't have. can't do it here. Save it. It's a five. <laughs> we still have an action. <clears throat> action and an upgrade. Upgrade is going to be, 
a power sword onto Bumblebee. Bumblebee is a melee character. This upgrade must be put onto a melee character only. I could not put it onto Flame War, who is a specialist. She is now melee. Um, as my action, I will play the bigger they are. Save it for next turn to show Pierce. I won't kill you outright. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> we will send Flame War to see if maybe we can push damage through on the Chop Shop. Now, again, as of right now, I could go for Chop Shop. I could go for Kickback. I could go for Scrapnel. Um, I might, maybe if I get lucky, be able to kill Chop Shop. But we'll see how the deck works. Well, that's not a good start, people at home. <laughs> Nor is that. <laughs> so I have two blue pips on the flip. <clears throat> so my attack value, Joe, is three. My defense value is a one. Ooh. I'll take two. Yes, sir. Chop Shop dies. Uh, cards in the flip, they get discarded. If I had played an action, it would also be discarded. I will draw. I will be obnoxious for Brian. I will flip Barrage. I will play Static Laser Ironhide on Barrage. There are no restrictions for that card. I will also play Reckless Charge on Barrage. It says one of your characters gets plus four attack until end of turn. At the end of the turn, do three damage to it. I'm going to send Barrage to Bumblebee. I'm flipping two right off the bat. I'm also giving myself two damage because Static Laser says if it's not Ironhide, you have to damage them. And he has Bold 2 if I'm attacking a damaged character, which Bumblebee is. So I'll be flipping four right off the bat. What are you doing your deck? Are you asking me, Pop Joe? quiz. Pop quiz. As soon as you draw your last card of your deck, whether you are drawing it or you are flipping it, you have to immediately shuffle your scrap pile. What about this card that I just played? It stays yeah, on the field. Stays on the field. So actions that you play, they stay until the turn. Always cut your opponent's deck. They're cheating. Resolved. They could have it stacked. They could. So I still have my bold two from his passive. <clears throat> Lucky me, I got a white. You may flip for defense. So I have tough one, mm -hmm. tough two, so mm -hmm. tough three altogether. And then we have another tough from Flame War. Some abilities are, are cumulative. So we'll have tough four. So one, two is our initial base flip. Uh, that is our first one from tough. And then like Joe, I've gone through my deck. Immediately I have to shuffle. Um, this would also go for if you just draw for turn, if you draw your last card, you immediately have to shuffle your deck. Same for cards like Inspiring Leadership and Incoming Transmission, which instruct you to put cards on the top of your deck or scrap them. Immediate reshuffle upon deck depletion. Okay, so from there, uh, this was two, this was the... That right there takes care of the armor. We have one more from Flame War, and then we flipped at least one white pip in that flip. One, two. Defense is two. Let's just double check. You should have two, three, four, five, six cards right off the bat, and then one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All yes. right. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight defense. Whew. Eight defense big. My attack is a five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. Bumblebee is dead. I feel like Joe is. At the end of turn, everything that was flipped gets scrapped. Because of Reckless Charge, I will take 3 more damage. Now, Brian, what happens here? So here. Who goes next? All of your characters are tapped. All of your characters. My character. My, thanks, Joe. My character is tapped. So at this point. Everyone will untap. Everyone. I like when I'm trying to like be real and then Brian gets confused. Doesn't know if Wait. I'm quizzing him or not. <laughs> Is this a trick? <laughs> Am I Brian? So because Joe had previously gone, uh, he had the last turn, it goes back to me. It keeps on alternating back and forth. Uh, so from here, I will draw my card. I'm going to play a card called Drill Arms. It's a weapon. When I put it onto a character, scrap an enemy armor, which Joe does not currently have. If I can't, I get to draw a card, which I will do. Uh, from here, as an action, we will play a card called The Bigger They Are. We will 
also flip Flame War into motorcycle mode. When I flip her into this mode, each of my characters gets bold one. So it doesn't say other character, it says each of my characters, it will affect her. Um, and then from here, the bigger they are, says one of your characters gets plus two attack until the end of the turn. If it's attacking an enemy this turn that has more stars than it, it gets pierced four. How many um, stars does she have? She has five. So Kickback is five. It's not going to work. Scrap Null is seven. It will work, but he has that passive that says can't take more than three. And Barrage is also seven, so it will work there. So I think our sensible target sensible is going to be Barrage. I so like we're going to flip, or we're going to uh, tap Flame War. Mm -hmm. Flame War into Barrage. So we flip one, two. We have a white pip. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have bold one. And then we have a white pip, so two more. Barrage right. will try to defend. <laughs> Unsuccessfully. Okay, so right now um, I'm showing three, four, and then plus two from this card here gives me six attack. Mm hmm um, I have six attack. I have pierce four. I have one defense. So you would take right now. You're taking five damage. So what does, what's pierce going to do then? In this case, it will do nothing. So pierce only makes a difference if the defender would defend from... more than the attack that was going to land. If I was only going to take four or, or excuse me, uh, three from that attack, the pierce would override for four. Right. And Pierce only, you could have Pierce 20, but you need to be showing the damage either through the character, any upgrades, any bonuses from the actions you played, and through um, orange icons that you flipped. So you need to have at least the Pierce value in attack to be able to push that damage through. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the turn, um, end of the attack there, you're scrapped. No. Here we're in a, an interesting, interesting situation. I actually had not planned on this. You outnumber me in terms of characters. Yes. So, I'm going to take one turn. My action for the turn would be Treasure Hunt, which says scrap the top four cards of your deck, put all upgrades scrapped this way into your hand. I have three. I will scrap the non-upgrades and take the three to hand. I will demonstrate as little as possible. I'm going to overwrite a weapon with another weapon. You can only fit one weapon per slot as noted in the last video. I've played my action, played my upgrade, I'm done. Since I have all untapped characters, I'm going to keep attacking in this one giant single turn until I'm all tapped out. Joe, I apologize, did you flip a character? I did not, I'm gonna choose not to, okay. it's optional. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm going to try and make this as humorous as possible. First, I'm going to attack Barrage, or attack with Barrage into Flame War. Uh, static laser is still on him. It says when the upgraded character is not Ironhide and it attacks, do two damage to it. Oops. Be very careful with that laser, folks. He's KO'd. Luckily, I still have attackers. <laughs> I will go into Flame War with Kickback first. Remember his crazy ability? Yes, question, Brian. Suggestion. Yes. Baby shrapnel. I don't think I'm going to push through the damage because all the doubles should not come up like they did before because that was that was scripted. Okay. You know what? Let's humor Brian in this one. We're going to send Scrapnel first. Okay. I'm only going to get two for the flip. Oh. Or will you, be. You chose that. <laughs> that is your decision. So I defend. I have one and I have two. I have a white pip as well. Good defend. All right. Five, so, six, seven, eight. So I have one, two, four, five defense. So I will take three damage. Okay, take Other your three. Two, I will be at five. We are back to this green pip situation. Um, it is the end of an attack. So at the end, you get to swap a green pip for a card in your hand. We are still attacking. Still my turn. We're not going to scrap these cards. We're going to set them off to the side. I'm going to continue my attack. Or, wait, can I play another? Nope. Up? I can't. No. So if you have, if your opponent is all tapped out and you have multiple characters as you attack, you get one upgrade, you get one action, 
you get one flip, and then all characters must attack. So I can't do anything once I start attacking except attack. Correct. It's kind of a built-in balancing mechanic. This Let's way, you don't run away with. What, the wait, can so I flip much. in between attacks? No, sir. You would have had to have done that before you attacked. We will go there. I will get my initial two. Kickback says plus two cards for each other Insecticon I started the game with. Two, four, six. We will cross our fingers for that one. So I flip one. I flip two. Joe, your attack value is? Zero. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My defense is three. I would take nine, which is enough to kill Flamewar. Joe wins the game. Who didn't see that coming? You offer your opponent a shake of a good game. Be a good sport. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Brian. <laughs> and uh, that is our mock initial game of uh, Beginner 101 stuff. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel about that, Brian? Um, felt like an uphill battle. But that's okay. Just what was that? <laughs> I hope the advanced video we release will be... Uh, Easily uh, followed along with. Joe is going to have a flow chart of all kinds of interactions for you folks. Thank you, folks. Hope you enjoy Wreck and Rule, and uh, see you next time.